Hey everyone, what's up YouTube? How you doing? You good? Me, I'm feeling myself with my hairstyle. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Get into it. Get into it. Yes, yes, yes. But, uh, it took me... I started Friday and I finished on Tuesday. We started Friday and we finished on Tuesday. Was it Friday? Yeah, because I had to go to church. Was it Friday? No, not Friday. Saturday. Yeah, started Saturday and finished on Tuesday. Was it roughly about four days? Not consistently, because I know I got newborn, so it was sporadically. My friend Ros Rosalind uh, braided the yarn, and this is not going to be a tutorial, because there's way too many tutorials out here on YouTube. So it's just some tips, rather, and one very important tip that you will see at the end of this video. Just hold on, okay? It is very important that you see this tip, okay? But my friend Rosalind, she braided the yarn onto hair, onto my hair. She braided halfway down. I don't see the significance of braiding the yarn all the way down so we didn't she braided until she got about two inches past my hair with five pieces of yarn we used five pieces of yarn and i've learned that it's not how many you wrap around the braid but it's how many pieces you initially braid your hair with that will give your braid the thickness so if you want thinner locks than this this is a decent size if you want thinner locks than this then you will use less hair if you want thicker locks then use you would use more than five pieces of yarn i wrapped she braided it, I wrapped them, I wrapped three pieces around, child, living overseas is a struggle when it comes to buying stuff, okay? I had five packs of yarn all together, I had three packs of black, am I saying this right? Three, pla three packs of black, two packs of red, didn't even need two packs of red, y'all can see I only did red in the back, it's about five rows of red in the back, but I'll show you guys that uh, at, in, a, in a bit, I'll show you it in a bit. Uh, yeah, started to run out of black because she, like I said, she braided it with the five pieces and then I began to wrap with three. When I started to get low, I started to wrap with two and that's why I say the thickness doesn't come from, the thickness does not come from you wrapping your hair but how many pieces you initially braid your hair with. Then I started wrapping it with two pieces. What else? Then my friend Chrissy, uh oh, I need to burn this. My friend Chrissy helped me finish out the center part of my head with the wrapping because it was just becoming too much. I was overdoing it. It's a long process. I was finished. Like, I'm done. She helped me finish about the, the center part of my head with wrapping it. And then we went ahead and burnt the ends. And that's yarn locks in a nutshell. What other tips do I have? That was it. That was the main tip. So now I'm going to insert a clip here as my best, the best tip of, of life. I'm so happy that I found it, okay? It is how to cut the yarn. I've heard so many people and their ideas of cutting the yarn, and I didn't want to do the, I don't, mm. This right here is going to save your life, okay? Go ahead and watch this clip. It's, I'm going to talk over it. What you see me doing here is wrapping the yarn around my middle finger because I wrapped it around my pointer finger and I kept getting tangled up. So I wrapped it around my middle finger and make sure your feet clean, okay? I don't know what to tell you stylists that are doing this professionally because if I go to you and I see you wrapping your yarn around your big toe, I'm going to have a problem, okay? So don't do this. This is for the people that are doing their own hair, okay? <laughs> I wrapped it around my middle finger and then you take that big toe, okay? And then you just stretching your body over. Child, I, I did about two packs of yarn in like 15 minutes, okay? Because it's so fast, you can wrap as much as you want to get around it at the length that you want it. If you want to get a shorter length, you will bring your, your finger closer to your, your, your foot. If you want a longer length, bring it, move your knee out some more and rest your finger on there. The best tip that I found, and I was so grateful that, that I found it. So yeah, this is what I am rocking now. I'm going to rock it until... March 25th will be my that will be my four year, five year, four year. I do the math later. Oh, my baby's crying just in time. Okay, he was sleeping and I tried to record this video, so it is time for me to go. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to take this out in about a month. I will be back with future videos about this as long as it's in. I'll bring you guys a styling video, how I maintain it, how I keep my moisture in because your girl loves her natural hair and I do not want it to dry out in this style. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the description. The what is it called? Please leave it in the comment bar down below. And that's it. Until next time. See you later. Bye. Okay, I had to come up here. I had to come back. I'm gonna have unpacked everything. I was like, dang, I forgot to tell you, show y'all what I did back here.
don't know if you can tell it. And y'all, they said this is burgundy. This ain't burgundy. Y'all see? It's just red back there. It's about four rows of red, which is only in the back. You'll only be able to see it. Hopefully y'all are getting this. But yeah. That's what the back of my head looks like. I ain't bye for real now.